Okay, so it's time to time the engine. Uh, the first thing you need to do is find top dead center on the flywheel cylinder. So that's this one here. So um, the way I'm doing it is I use a little cylinder stop here that uh, happens to be an M14. And I thread that in until I get it where I a spot. Doesn't really matter where that much. Yeah, right there is where I had it. So I made a mark at 90 degrees on this wheel. It doesn't matter where either. Um, then I'm going to turn it all the way around the opposite way. So I guess right there, which happens to be right here. So now we're at 180 degrees right there on the wheel. So um, halfway between 90 and 180 is 135. So I marked it right there. Hopefully that's right. Yep. So then I turn my 90 degree mark to 135 and that is exactly top dead center. So then I pull that off, we don't need that now. Okay, so now we've got to place our um, degree wheel here. This one's for these, so it fits really nice um, at the 360 or the zero mark. Um, it's gonna go right here at the very bottom of the um, intake port, right there for the same cylinder. So right there. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now that we've got that um, marked there, we're gonna, for this particular engine, the CD 3D RFI, um, it's 147 degrees. So that's gonna be right over here. There's 150, there's 140. So 147 is gonna be about right there. Okay. And interestingly, this engine has two scrub marks on it. It falls almost exactly in the middle of that. So I don't know if that was done at the factory or what, but that's kind of a cool artifact there. So up next, we're gonna put the rotary valve in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rotary valve in now. Uh, make sure your surface is clean, no uh, case sealant there. Go ahead and wipe anything off there that might be left over. Kind of a spot there, it's kind of a spot. So I'm gonna take this razor and... There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little oil there. So this engine pretty much went right on perfect. Good. All right, there we go. So now we'll put the cover on. Then um, have the rotary valve cover here that goes on or intake, whatever you wanna call it. And it's just gonna sit right on here like that. These four are going to be torqued down to 20 Newton meters. So that's on now. Okay, the last thing here on top of the engine is gonna be these raid va rave valves, or the exhaust valves. Um, of course, new O-rings. And then they go in just right there, like that. Put the kind of slant down. I think this one's kind of hard to get in. Okay, so now it's time to put the flywheel on. Um, 
course it's three pieces and I've already pushed it, uh, just set it on here. These um, that hold the stator and the, uh, I guess, flywheel or ring gear, if you want to call it that, to the um, kind of back plate of the flywheel are going to be locked out, of course, and then screw in like this. These are going to be torqued down to 10 Newton meters. Like I said, these are gonna be torqued down to 10 Newton meters. I'm gonna do it in that kind of star pattern. Next, we're gonna torque this down. Um, it also needs to be Loctited. This is gonna be torqued down to 89 foot-pounds. Okay, I'm probably gonna get a, I don't know, screwdriver. There we go. Okay, so now that we got the uh, flywheel on there, um, it's time to just put the cover back on, front cover. It's pretty simple, it just uh, pops on here. Let's make sure you got it in the right spot. And there it is, just like that. Uh, so now I'll put the bolts back in. This may come as a surprise, but these are gonna be Loctoed. Oh, I almost made a mistake there, guys. You gotta put the uh, oil pump drive in first. This goes right there and that drives the oil pump that's on the front of the engine. Now, put that on so you know you can see it there. I think this engine may have seen some salt water. These are gonna be torqued down to nine Newton meters or 80 inch pounds. Yeah, there we go. So I'm not entirely sure which one had this long one. Um, I think it was this side right here because it doesn't have as much turning wear marks as the other one. Could have been this one. I'm not entirely sure. Something goes on this in the boat and I'll figure it out when I put it in there. One of these two though, I'm gonna say this one. The rest are just these regular bolts. But if I have to switch to them in the boat, it won't be a problem. These will be torqued down to nine Newton meters as well. Like I said, I may have to switch one of these. I'm not sure it went, so I'll have to uh, see what it goes against in the boat. I uh, figured this out. It goes on this bottom one. So we'll switch these real quick. That's how that goes with that kind of stud there on the bottom. I guess that's just to protect that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and install the starter here. Um, of course, lock tightening the screws. There's gonna be three of these kind of long ones that look too long, but they're not. There we go. Slides in like that. I don't like that, like that. And this will go through right there. So 
get those two pre-tight first and I'll put the back one in here. These are gonna be torqued down to 22 Newton meters. Okay. Then the top one also has this nut on it as well. While we're down here, we'll go ahead and put this on as well. Yeah, so it goes on the same side like this. Kind of like that. Okay, so this is a washer under it and over it. Okay, this has some adjustment to account for the pipe. So we'll go ahead and put that on now. There we go. I probably won't put it on in the hole with pipe on it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put one of these in, just prevent that from happening. Said I'm not gonna put Loctite on yet because I'm gonna take it back apart. Oh, shit, I guess it wasn't on. Okay, now we got that in there, we can uh, tighten these up. 